So there's the live broadcast. Oh, I see. It's so it's not on. It is, but you get your shoes back. Hold on. Well, we're going to talk it over, but I think that I was going to jump. No, but it didn't start. I'm thinking that it's trying to be a nice start. Which way are you going to go? Are you going to go that way? Or that way? Well, we're basically going to do it. I guess we're going to run You can do the play by play. Can you? Me? I'm good. I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> I want to first of all thank St. John's School, uh, your principal, Mr. Uh, Darling, and everybody else, the torch champions that are running with the uh, starting tour. the Canadian League of the SOS the Americas torch relay for organ and tissue donation. So proud to have your school be the first school of many thousands of other schools. So, that are going Mr. Darling, we're going to have uh, Brian light the torch. This is the famous torch of life. There we go. Too bad our head of school couldn't be here. Um, <laughs> you can watch it. Yeah, exactly. The bridge has been clear right through the morning. It looks as though we'll have two lanes heading south, one lane northbound. As for your your uh, Richmond Bridge, is rather no delays for the Arts of Lane. The Oak Street Bridge looks to stay inside the entire traffic center in Vancouver. I did last time. <laughs> Always <laughs> running fast. And he used to be a fitness trainer. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Where the forecast been a little bit. Two thirds capacity. Horseshoe Bay to Langdale. One twenty to the quarter full. Langdale to Horseshoe Bay. Twelve to two thirty is wide open. Horseshoe Bay to South Coast. Quick, I just want to make sure all the cameras are ready. Okay, everybody ready with the cameras? 
Okay, please make your final lap up. This torchbearing run, this idea has been growing and growing. We've had tens and hundreds of thousands, thanks to your good works. And it's fun to carry a torch, by the way. Uh, what school you're from? St. John. Your mascot with you. Give her, please, a round of applause. Excellent. Yeah, I'd just like to say how proud I am that uh, our school was asked to be a part of this. And I think it's a very worthwhile. I think our mascot's course. allowed to get to, I guess I think you already have, but you have pockets. Uh, George, we want to thank uh, City Hall, Vancouver City Hall. They've been excellent with all our uh, relays. Uh, during the past years, and especially want to thank Deputy Mayor Heather Deal for coming out here in the rain. Look yes, at her. It's a great example for all the other thousands of schools, and I mean thousands, that are going to get on board as we go through 277 cities in 36 countries of America in the next two years. Uh, St. John's School, you set an excellent example today. <laughs> My name is Laura, L A U R A. <laughs> Good work, guys. All right. <laughs> we, we do have to give back the torch. <laughs> we don't get a replica with this one. Just stop. This better just the king. We need to find an excuse for a torch bearing relay every year. <laughs> Yes, Chris. Right now, there are more than 300 British Columbians on the waiting list for an organ transplant. And the sad truth about this is, and it, it's brutal, many of them will die while they're waiting. That's because while the majority of us support this idea, when it comes down to actual donors, the numbers are low. In an effort to combat the shortage and save more lives... Five minutes will be prepared to uh, run with the torch. A lack of organ donors is something George Marcello knows all too well. He received a liver transplant and has now embarked on a two-year torch relay across North and South America to get people to sign up to be donors. 